Hey everybody, DK here with Mr. V Amps and we're going to have a discussion about something that has absolutely nothing to do with amplifiers today. We're actually going to talk about drumsticks. I've got three pairs of these Aquarian uh, synthetic drumsticks. I believe they say they're graphite, but they're they're like a graphite plastic. Um, we've got a 5A with the rubber grip, a 5A light. This is the light version, weighs less. This is the standard version, and, uh, and then we have a 3A light, which is like a probably the the lightest of them all. Maybe a little bit more of a jazz. They sell them as a funk type uh, drumstick. But um, I just ordered these in, so I have them. I'm a little concerned about the supply of them. They have been around for quite some time, but I feel like I'm one of the only people on the planet that plays with them. Um, I have tried my share of drumsticks over the years, and obviously, as you know, with wood sticks, they, they chip, they fracture, they wear out. Okay? Um, these sticks really, really do not. And this is not a review. I'm not just going to play these and go, oh, they're great. Let's look at some old sticks. These are sets of sticks that have been in my collection and been played with in my stick bag at the shows, some of them dating back over 10 years. This is the heaviest set I perchance to have. It's the 5B. Uh, standard, I find it reminds me a little bit more of a 2B. It's real beefy. It's got nice big fat tips on it. It's really got a nice power rock feel. And you can tell the grips have some chews on them. The labels are gone. Uh, there's a lot of scuffing, but quite frankly, the thing is still there. It's intact. This has 10 times the hours as opposed to like an oak stick. This is an older oak stick by Promark. Um, the oak sticks are definitely tougher than the hickory sticks and this one probably has you know one-tenth the time that the aquarium stick has and it's showing a lot of wear. I really have, with the exception of the very very light jazz sticks, I have not played with wood sticks in over ten years. Um, a few other pairs that hang around in my bag. These are the 5A lights. They're great. These are fantastic for playing uh, pop music. They do have a little bit, little bit of weight to them. And with this rubber grip, my favorite part is the rubber grip. Uh, number one, it is a little on the sticky side, which is good because you're not flinging your sticks everywhere. But it's, it gives you a more substantial feel for a lighter weight. And then if we're going to play something a little lighter, yet yeah, we do have the non-grip version. I decided to try the non-grip version. I like them just fine, but I have tended to prefer the grip version, and so that's what I bought in the future. So these are the three pairs that have been in my stick bag, this set going back ten years, these two about seven, and we're still using the same drumsticks. I have tried synthetic drumsticks in the past. I don't even remember what manufacturer this is, but quite frankly, these would crack and the tips would fly off. Maybe they would last two times as long as the wood sticks, and I hate the feel of them. They're too dang heavy. The head aluminium sticks that are popular because of Lars, let's just face it, it's Lars. Um, those, you either love them or you don't, and I fall into the don't category. Um, so those are the sets that s s hang out in my stick bag. Here at home on my set, I have a set of what we call the X10, which is just the standard 5A, and I have a standard 5B, and these two have hung out on my drum set for practice. The reason I thought about these again, because it's been a while since I've thought about them, um, I, I play with them all the time and I just don't think about it, but um, a friend of mine came over and was rehearsing for uh, a gig here with my band coming up and uh, managed to break one of the wood sticks I had in my pile of sticks. And they, they were just junk sticks. I mean, we know that the, the cheapest drumsticks really are cheap. And for a professional grade stick, you want to be using, you know, a Promark or a Vic Firth or, you know, something like that, a Vader 
I don't want to leave anybody out. You know, they're, they're, they're for the most part, everybody's making a good stick. But after breaking a, a cheap junk stick, you know, felt embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I owe you a drumstick. I owe you a drumstick. I'm like, no, 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 no. Pick these up. So he picked these up, played with them for a few minutes, and immediately said, I thought I would hate the grip. I thought it would be slippery. This is great. These things feel great. There's very little shock. So, I mean, all the different things that they promise on the Aquarian website about these tend to be um, less fatigue, less shock. Um, I really do like the lighter variety of them just because you get the more substantial size drumstick with less weight. And the durability has just been outstanding. I have not broken a single pair of these in, you know, 10 years and the this one particular set in particular these five bees these things have absolutely been abused these would have been demolished under any other cases i mean we're, this was you know play as loud as you can with the loud obnoxious band and yet they're still here i mean if you were to follow the shoulder taper you can actually see there is a little bit there's a little bit of a dip in there but it's insignificant and the thing is still strong and ready to go. So just due to my own concern for the longevity of these, granted they've lasted me 10 years, but I probably will be continuing to play drums for another 25 years or so. I don't see why not. Um, I did order some additionals. Um, I got another set of the 5A lights. And this is the 3A. This is kind of interesting. It's a little bit stouter. It's got a different, kind of a sharper tip on it. Um, probably give a different lighter sound. This is, uh, they call it a 3A, kind of the funk size, I guess is what they call it. To me, it's got more of a jazzy feel and it's actually lighter than the 5A. So I'm sort of uh, excited to try these out. These will probably go in my stick bag as, as an alternate. Um, and with the where the weight feels, I think these are going to have a heck of a bounce. But there's just more more rebound, definitely way more durability. And, you know, if you're an environmentalist type, you think about it, yeah, these are plastic, but if they're going to last 30 or 40 years, um, you know, which I, I don't know if they will, but, I mean, I've gotten 10 years out of it. Has anybody ever got 10 years out of a set of drumsticks? Um, if you're playing with enthusiasm and playing regularly, it just doesn't seem to happen. Um, you know, I, I suppose somebody playing orchestral music might get a long time, but even the jazz cats and especially the rock and roll guys, the hi-hats, just chew the tar out of your drumsticks. So check these out. They're on Aquarian Drumheads website, so you can look that up. Aquarian Drumheads, the guys that make, um, you know, the drum skins. Whether you like them or not, you know, I, drummers are all polarized. It's Remo or nothing, man. Or Evans is the way, Remo's a joke. I like, a, I like attack, and then everybody jumps on that guy in the forum. I know how this works. Um... And by the way, I play with Ludwig Drumheads, if anybody cares. And I don't even know if they're still available. The availability's been yo-yoed. But whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter. But seriously, pick yourself up a pair of these. They're, I think right now they're about 12 or 13 bucks for the full size. And I think the lights are on sale for 12 bucks. They're, they're on special right now. And, you know, try a pair of them. Get maybe two sizes and it'll save you a lot of money in the long term. So... Whether you're an environmentalist and don't want to keep having trees go to waste so you can play the drums, um, you know, give, give something like this a shot. Or if you're just uh, wanting to maximize the economics, if you find a pair of these that you like, uh, you will get many, many years of use out of them um, under, I would even say, strong use, you know, uh, extreme use. Uh, th th these will last you many many sets so don't don't worry about a busted stick just play and enjoy I have been unable to break these in over 10 years have a great day